Hi, welcome or welcome back. Um, did I break my promise to make one video per week? Yes, yes I did. Is there still an echo? Yes, yes there is. Hi, sorry for disappearing. It was not intentional. I'm just like I said from the beginning, I have a full-time job. It was from stress, I have to take a chill pill, which is quite difficult for me because I'm a very um, disciplined person and if I say something, I really do not like going back on it. That's why I am going to be filming, I just need to be realistic about it and uh, not activate all my stress centers, <laughs> apparently. Today we're going to be doing the first part of the bedroom. It's not done yet, there's still many things that I want to do and work on before I feel like it's finalized, but this is just like the main draft and things I did and things I loved. Um, I'll be sharing with you guys all the stuff I used and things like this, um, where I got some of them. And yeah, I hope it gives you like an inspiration. I was basically looking more for like a serene, like relaxing mood. I only saw a picture with what I was thinking, what was going through my head. And yeah, I hope you guys will like it. So just to have a quick look at a before. I started out with the shades. Um, I do not recommend making them yourself. Uh, as you can see here, I'm struggling. This I think was back in 2021. So I found this chandelier in a flea market. It was this yellow, ugly kind of situation happening. I wanted gold accents, but not like this. So I decided to paint it. And I painted it with a spray that's made for cars. So it would be long lasting. I did two coats. So I forgot to mention this is the color. First thing on the agenda, I got this chair, which is going to go in the bedroom. The color is not probably right, but moving like a, almost like a desk chair and I like it. So we're going to do this and then later I'm going to DIY it to make it match the bedroom. Okay. Ready? Yes, we magically teleported in a different room <laughs> with the chair. So you can see it's a bit gray. This is more of the gray cushion, which I didn't want, and the legs are black. So we're gonna want to make those white and possibly change this, but as I was saying, yay, I got the mattress, <laughs> but I'm be moving. You see how I move the bed? I will be moving the plugs are gonna be on this side. So after I move the plugs, this was the stage of the room. It's quite empty, quite bare. And the side lights were actually from Ikea. So I had this uh, dresser redone because I wanted to pull out doors, but um, apparently you can't do that without having some kind of space and I didn't want it any space. You'll see later the final one, final shot. Here me and my mom, we started uh, prepping the room for coloring. I wanted to make an accent wall. I chose for the accent wall is Benjamin Moore Night Mist. It is such a beautiful color. Like, and the quality, oh my god, it's like, look at that creaminess. Oof. Self, if you put tape, please be careful. 
that's not tape, that's my walls. I need to give white paints now. <laughs> oh, I, yeah, terrible job, terrible. I, I'll get some white paint to fix this. I actually found a very nice mirror, but it's gray and doesn't work with anything in the room because the color palette that I have is uh, gold and like this uh, soft turquoise. So this, this doesn't work. We're gonna DIY this. We're gonna make this white. We're gonna use the same spray that I use for the overhead light. I have the material shades and I also have like the protection shades. I have a lot of shades. I need darkness when I sleep. Otherwise, I can't sleep. If there's any bit of light, I wake up. I'm like this. I'm... Not that I'm a light, I'm a morning person. Absolutely not. I just love my sleep. But the point was, I was quite concerned that actually this color with this color would not work. But somehow it looks really, really nice. And I, I'm actually happy how it turned out. In the dresser, I actually installed a sensor light. I love it. Victory. <laughs> I recommend you get a bed that has storage under it. It's very practical and saves up a lot of space. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that was it. That's all that I'm going to be doing for now. I will be continuing with the crown mold. I will be doing crown molding and uh, DIYing the chair and the mirror and maybe get some more rugs and more decoration items and it's gonna look very nice. Also, I want to put, I think I'm, <laughs> I'm thinking if I should paint or not. I haven't painted in, since 2020, I haven't painted. Um, but I used to paint a lot before, so maybe I'll make something for the bedroom. Maybe a sexy couple, because why not? <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys like this, and um, talk to you soon.